My friends, life has this funny way of keeping us on our toes, doesn't it? We're constantly juggling responsibilities, dealing with challenges, and facing uncertainties about what lies ahead. It's like we're carrying this invisible load on our shoulders. A load made up of worries, anxieties, and the trials. Dear friends, I want you to open your hearts to this message and my prayer. May God bless you and those around you. So, when all these worries pile up, it's simple to feel really stressed out. The daily grind, unexpected obstacles, and the fear of what might happen tomorrow can become a heavy burden on our hearts. It's during these times that we might find ourselves questioning, how can I keep going? How can I find peace in the midst of all this chaos? And this is where the wisdom and love of our Lord Jesus Christ shine through. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 11, verse 28, Jesus extends an invitation that resonates through the ages. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Imagine these words as a soothing balm for your tired soul. Picture Jesus, not as a distant figure, but as a caring friend who sees the heaviness you're carrying and says, hey, let me help you with that. He's not just sympathizing with our struggles. He's offering a solution, a promise of rest and relief. Consider it like a compassionate hand reaching out to take the weight off your shoulders. Jesus understands the toll life can take on us the weariness, the burdens we carry, the moments when it feels like too much. His invitation is an open door to a place of solace, where you can unload your worries and find respite. So, amidst the whirlwind of our daily lives, let's remember these words from Jesus. When the weight of worry becomes too much to bear, let's accept his invitation, lean on his strength, and allow him to provide the rest our souls crave. It's an act of trust, an acknowledgement that we don't have to face life's challenges alone because Jesus is right there, ready to give us the rest we need. My friends, have you ever felt like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders? Like no matter how hard you try, some burdens just seem too heavy to bear. We've all felt it, that sense of being swamped by worries and not knowing what to do. But here's the beautiful truth. Our Heavenly Father sees the struggles we face, and He knows the depths of our hearts. He understands every worry, every fear, and every doubt that weighs us down. And in His infinite love and wisdom, He invites us to release these burdens and surrender them to Him. Imagine for a moment that you're holding onto a rope, trying to pull yourself out of a deep pit of worries and anxieties. But no matter how hard you tug, you just can't seem to climb out. Now, picture God standing at the edge of that pit, reaching out his hand to you, saying, let go of the rope. Trust me, and I will lift you out of this pit. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verses 5-6, we are reminded of this truth. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. It's a powerful reminder to let go of our need to control every outcome, to release our grip on our worries, and to trust in God's perfect plan for our lives. When we surrender to Him completely, when we submit our worries, our fears, and our desires to His will, He promises to guide us, to lead us along straight paths, and to bring us safely to our destination. So, as we gather here today, let us take a moment to release our grip on the worries that weigh us down. Let us surrender them to the one who holds the universe in his hands, and let us trust in his unfailing love and wisdom, knowing that he will always lead us on the path of peace and righteousness so, have you ever noticed that life doesn't always unfold the way we plan it? We pray, we seek answers, and we long for solutions to our problems. 
Yet, there are moments when it seems like God is silent. Like our prayers are hanging in the air, unanswered. It's in these times that doubt can creep in, and we may question why God doesn't align His timeline with ours. We wonder why our pleas for help seemingly go unheard. But my friends, let's find solace in the profound words of the Lord from Isaiah 55, 8, 9. It's a powerful truth that we need to grasp. God operates on a different level of understanding and timing than we do. Picture it like this. His perspective is as vast as the heavens, while ours is limited to the earthly realm. It's like trying to compare the expanse of the sky to the surface of the earth. There's a magnitude of difference. When we feel that God is not working according to our schedule, it's an invitation to trust in His divine timing. His ways are filled with wisdom that goes beyond our comprehension, just as a masterful artist carefully plans each stroke of the brush to create a masterpiece. God orchestrates the events of our lives in a way that surpasses our understanding. As we go through the ups and downs of life, let's hold on to the assurance that God's timing is perfect. Even when we don't see the answers right away, we can trust that He is at work, aligning everything according to His divine plan. Our faith is the bridge between our impatience and God's perfect timing. Let's walk that bridge with confidence knowing that He is in control and His ways lead to fulfillment beyond what we can imagine. So, my friends, as we said, life tends to throw challenges at us. It might be financial struggles, concerns about our basic needs, or worries about what the future holds. In the midst of these difficulties, it's comforting to know that we have a promise from God a promise of His provision and care. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, verses 25, 26, Jesus shares these reassuring words. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body. What you will wear is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes. Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Let's break this down a bit. Imagine for a moment you're standing in a beautiful field, surrounded by birds happily singing in the trees. Jesus invites us to consider these birds, who don't toil or worry about where their next meal will come from. Yet God, our heavenly Father, takes care of them. Jesus is essentially saying, if God provides for these birds, how much more will He provide for you, His cherished and valued creation? It's a powerful reminder that God's provision goes beyond just meeting our basic needs. He cares about every aspect of our lives, what we eat, what we wear, and even the worries that keep us up at night. As we face the challenges of life, Let's hold on to the promise that our Heavenly Father, who takes care of the birds of the air, values us even more and will provide for us in ways beyond our understanding. So, when the weight of financial concerns or daily needs presses down on us, let's turn to these words of Jesus and find comfort in the assurance that God is a loving provider who looks after His children with immeasurable care. Trust in His promise of provision, and you'll discover a peace that surpasses any worry or fear. My beloved friends, I want us to take a moment to reflect on the incredible faithfulness of our Heavenly Father. When we look back at the journey we've walked, the challenges we've faced, and the mountains we've climbed, one thing remains steadfast, God's unwavering faithfulness. In Psalm 34, 17, 18, the psalmist beautifully captures this truth. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. So, when we find ourselves in distress, when life's challenges seem insurmountable, God doesn't turn a deaf ear to our cries. No, He hears us. 
He's attentive to our every plea, our every whispered prayer. And not only does he hear, but he also delivers. He rescues us from the troubles that threaten to overwhelm us. And here's the most comforting part. The Lord is not a distant observer. He draws near to the brokenhearted, to those who feel crushed in spirit. It's a reminder that in our moments of deepest pain and sorrow, God is right there, beside us, offering solace, comfort, and healing. So, my friends, let our hearts overflow with gratitude. Gratitude for the faithfulness that has brought us through every trial. Gratitude for a God who not only hears our cries, but also responds with love and deliverance. Let us rejoice in the assurance that the same God who has been with us on this journey will not abandon us now, whatever challenges may lie ahead. Let's face them with the confidence that comes from knowing we serve a faithful God. He is our rock, our fortress, and our deliverer. As we leave this place, may our hearts be filled with gratitude, our spirits lifted in joy, and our faith strengthened by the unwavering love of our Heavenly Father. Beloved friends, let's carry in our hearts the profound assurance that God walks with us every step of the way. His love surrounds us, and in His perfect way and timing, He holds the solutions to our problems. Let's make a conscious decision to exchange our worries for faith, our anxieties for trust, and our fears for the deep understanding that we serve a God who is not only willing but mighty to save. The challenges we face may seem overwhelming, but in the grand tapestry of God's plan, each thread is meticulously woven with love, care, and purpose. Remember, as we step into the uncertainties of life, we do so with the unshakable confidence that God's love goes before us, beside us, and behind us. Let our trust in Him be the anchor that steadies our souls in turbulent times. May His peace, a peace that surpasses all understanding, stand guard over our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. It's a peace that defies logic, a calm assurance that, despite the storms, we are securely held in the arms of a loving and all-powerful God. Finally, always remember that you are loved. Whether by friends, family, or a higher power, there is love surrounding you. Let this love be a source of comfort and strength on your journey. Now, open your hearts to pray with me this prayer. Dear God, we come to you today with hearts heavy from the struggles we face in our daily lives. We know that you understand our pain and that you are always with us, even in our darkest moments. We pray for all those who are struggling today, whether it be with illness, financial hardship, relationship problems, addiction, or any other difficulty. We ask that you wrap them in your loving arms and provide them with the comfort and peace that they need to persevere. Help us to remember that even in our struggles, we are never alone. You are always with us, guiding us and supporting us every step of the way. We trust in your wisdom and grace, and we know that through your love, all things are possible. We pray for those who are dealing with physical pain and illness. We ask that you heal their bodies ease their suffering, and grant them the strength to overcome their challenges. We pray for those who are facing financial difficulties, that you provide them with the resources they need to meet their needs and take care of their families. We pray for those who are struggling with addiction or mental health issues, that you guide them towards healing and recovery. We also pray for those who are struggling in their relationships. We ask that you mend broken hearts, restore broken bonds, and bring peace and understanding to those who are hurting. Lord, we pray for all those who are facing financial difficulties, whether it be due to job loss, debt, 
or other financial burdens. We ask that you provide them with the resources they need to meet their needs and take care of their families. We pray for those who are struggling to make ends meet, that you give them the wisdom and discernment to make the right financial decisions and to find ways to improve their situation. Help us to remember that even in our struggles, we are never alone. You are always with us, guiding us and supporting us every step of the way. We trust in your wisdom and grace, and we know that through your love, all things are possible. We ask that you grant us the strength and courage to work hard, to be diligent and resourceful in our efforts to improve our financial situation. Help us to stay focused on our goals, to be disciplined in our spending habits, and to be wise stewards of the resources you have given us. We also pray for those who are struggling to find employment. We ask that you open doors of opportunity for them, and that you guide them towards fulfilling and meaningful work that will not only provide for their financial needs, but also bring them joy and satisfaction. Lord, we pray for all those who are facing sickness, whether it be a chronic condition, a temporary illness, or a life-threatening disease. We ask that you heal their bodies, ease their suffering, and grant them the strength to overcome their challenges. We pray that you bring them comfort and peace, and that you surround them with love and support from family and friends. Help us to remember that even in our sickness, we are never alone. You are always with us, guiding us and supporting us every step of the way. We trust in your wisdom and grace, and we know that through your love, all things are possible. We ask that you grant us the wisdom and discernment to make the right choices in our health care, to be diligent in seeking treatment and following through with the advice of our doctors and medical professionals. Help us to stay focused on our healing, to be disciplined in taking care of our bodies and to be wise stewards of the resources you have given us. We also pray for those who are caring for loved ones who are sick. We ask that you grant them the strength and patience to provide loving care, and that you bless them with the resources and support they need to meet the needs of their loved one. Thank you for your unwavering love and for the strength that you give us each day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.